Ooh, they got birria tacos. See my snow cones. A sea monkey. How it taste? I'm gonna taste. You wanna taste it? I saw that on the video. Oh, I ain't even introduced the vlog, child. What's up, my connectors, and welcome back to the channel. So today we are at Yellow Green Farmers Market in Hollywood, Florida. So we're gonna show y'all around. We're gonna get some food. I'm excited. Say hey, Alicia. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Say hey, Alana. Hi. <laughs> She's just waking up. Y'all know it's morning, so. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I want. He is. He is, he is. Sweet iced coffee. The sea moss snow cone. Okay. Come on, Shay. <laughs> With the snow cone. Make it easier on us. <laughs> what is this? Give me a beer your taco, probably. Are you? Yeah. Oh, was it at that place? One of them over there. Oh, you yeah. okay. Oh, they make that cooking. Oh, they got your Cuban sandwiches, cook. What? Is that on that board? Oh. A cholada and a chicha. Chicha. Oh, oh she cholada. say, let me taste it. Just stuck in a With fruit on top. What she say, orange pineapple? Yes. Yes. It's tropical citrus. Oh, citrus. Oh. Yeah. Mm. 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 Oh. Ooh, vegan rum. Let me see if she got a beet juice. I'm gonna drink a beet juice. Okay. At this booth, I actually got some beet juice from there. They're playing music, so I had to um do a little voiceover. Alana found her some cute bracelets, so so she was taking pictures of her bracelets. And then um that that natural beet juice that I got from him is really, really good. And he makes several different um, kinds, but I can't wait to go back and taste some more. So Alicia and Alana actually went down to Cake in a Jar. Um, SDC, I think is what it's actually called. So they were down there tasting the uh, treats when I walked down there. And uh, she asked me, did I want to taste it? And that um, vegan, what is it? Vegan Velvet. Vegan Butterbill Velvet. I think that's the one I had. And I tried her banana pudding and both were good. I have to actually go back and buy it because I said I was going to stop back by, by when I came back. But I, uh, we ended up leaving. But when I go back out there, which you know I will, I will definitely go back and um, support. Uh-oh. That's the vegan one. That's crazy. The Lana like the, um. Oh, thank you. Oh, so you get this lady a no, fork. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm about to taste the banana pudding. Oh, the banana pudding. Oh, I forgot I had control. Don't make no crazy things if you don't taste it. Don't put that on the No! What you not gonna do? No, it's really good. Oh, you can't even see it. I was trying to show them. This the uh, what is this? The vegan velvet. Oh, the okay, bread velvet. Vegan velvet, y'all. I was trying to show them. I'm a little slow. Uh, let me just. If y'all, Alicia is vlogging. So oh, can't see nothing. baby, I'm sitting here reading something. Oh, Alana like the vegan red velvet better than the regular red velvet. So how you doing? Let me take, let me get the thing. <laughs> it don't taste vegan. Okay, this is a 12 ounce jar of cake. It's SDC treats. This is our velvet cake. It's vegan. Um, it tastes just like our red velvet. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Falls 
on Instagram, SDC Treats. We do deliveries um, in the South Florida area. I know. Oh, cool. Good, oh, delicious. Put it on Instagram. Thank you, man. Listen, on this next clip, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I'm just so embarrassed. Listen to what I say in this next clip, okay? Get the chicken. Ain't nobody over here. Is that chicken? What's that? Chicken feet? Oh, intestines? Oh. Like chitterly? In Georgia. Oh, okay. Like in the world that I asked that man was the chicken feet. Do they look like chicken feet? And Alana kept saying like like chitlins, like chitterlings and I'm and I still wasn't catching on. I'm like, "Come on, man. I'm so embarrassed." <laughs> oh, goodness. I can I just cannot. Okay, let me just rant real quick. I just got my nails done, right? Y'all see them? And um, I don't really have a destination or a place where I go that's like, um, that like you know how people be like, that's my place there. I don't really have a place like that. So I just come out here to the nail bar at the town center, which is cool, you know? She did a really good job on my feet and massaged me real good because I love a good massage. I'm going to just insert this into one of the vlogs, right? I like... I like somebody that like beat my feet and stuff. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy. But I like somebody that like beat my feet and massage me real hard and give me real hot water. Like that's my thing. Give me hot water when you're doing my toes and stuff. And then really get in there and like massage my feet. Like you ain't even got to worry about if it hurt me. Just, just get it. You know what I'm saying? Just like really like beat my feet. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> let me tell you something in Fort Lauderdale where we used to go. 
we used to actually call the place beat my feet you know what i mean i don't think they pound on people like they used to i don't know let me know if y'all um nail salon still like you know how they used to smack your legs or smack your feet like that they don't they don't do that anymore right i used to love it because it's like you just you know really just getting in there right <laughs> so now you know i get the, i get the good massage because i only go once a month because it lasts because i get the gel polish right I want me, since I'm over here by Cantina Laredo, y'all know when I come over here, I just feel like I have to get me something to eat. So anyway, that was all fine and good. Cause so I got the French, which I know is going to be more expensive, but I got French on my toes with the gel polish, with the highest um, pedicure, which is, which is, I think, it's, I don't know, it's probably like $80 or $100, something like that. But anyway, it came out to be a total of 119 right? Y'all know I'm frugal. But I only go once a month, so God damn. Ain't no pog. I sure wanted to get one. But anyway, let me just finish what I was saying because I'm just gonna insert this. So um it's fine. 119, that's fine. So then y'all know, y'all remember this hand was nubs and this hand needed to feel real bad. So he was just like, you know, just soak them off and then just get a whole full new set, which I was okay with that. Um the whole full new set, right? So I'm gonna go to the back and see if they got some parking. So you got a full set and you got a uh the highest pedicure, which is uh like I told you, hundred dollars, a hundred or something. So 119 plus 82 dollars. Okay, that's 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 expensive to me. I don't I I go once a month, but that's expensive to me, which is okay because I'm I'm gonna pay it, right? So I'm like, okay, no problem. So I'm getting ready to pay with my debit card and um Ain't no pause back here. So he was like, okay. So he says 201, cause it was 82 plus 119. Y'all following me? Okay. So he was like 201. So I was like, okay, no problem. So on the little thing where you stick your card, it said 207. I'm like, wait, I thought you said 201. And he was like, oh, they, they it's the credit card processing fee. Oh, uh, bro, come on, since when? Nah, for real. So you gonna charge me? Are you coming out? You gonna charge me um to use the debit card? Come on, Tesla, y'all gonna take up the parks? Now let me just rant with this right here. The people with the Teslas love your cars and stuff, but can y'all charge y'all cars in the back of the parking lot so people that's coming here can get? get a park so y'all got like 15 the whole front row with teslas i ain't mad at your tesla i'm just saying i'm hungry and i just want to park and all y'all doing is charging your car so why can't you charge them in the back back there don't worry about it i ain't mad at you i'm just i'm just saying can i get a park i just wanted something a quick a quick little snack oh here go one right here okay i'm done with that rant but listen so you gonna charge me since when they started charging people for use the debit card? You charge six or seven dollars to use your debit card? Like, come on now. I say, oh, don't worry about it. Hold on, baby. I pull that cash straight out my purse. You tell me, oh, you have cash? Yeah, I got cash. Don't worry about this wig. I just picked it up. Yeah, I got cash. So here, get this cash. And um. I, I tip in cash too. That's why I carry cash. Now I didn't use all my pocketbook cash because you know everybody carry cash in their purse. I don't know maybe they do. But Kit always told me to carry cash in my purse. I used to didn't, but yeah, I carry it in my purse. But good thing I did because you gonna charge me an extra six or seven dollars to use the debit card. Oh come on, bro. I'm already thinking that the the, the pedicure and stuff is too much because I remember getting the full set for like what fifty dollars. Was it, didn't it used to be like $50 or... I don't get design. I'm real plain. I'm trying to think. How much did pedicures cost back then? 40 Maybe 45 Maybe 50 at the most. So now it's $82 for the gel and the full set. And then it's 119 for the pedicure and stuff 
I should have brought the brochure with me. But like I said, I don't really have a, a I just come out here to the town center. Um, I don't really have a place where I'd be like, oh, that's my girl or that's my guy. Even though that lady did real good on my feet. And she was like, is it too hot? I'm like, no, it ain't never too hot. It don't never hurt. Just go on in there and do what you got to do. Like, get, get up in there. <laughs> get up in there like you, like you in, you know what I mean? Shoot. But yeah, the pedicure was good. She did really good on my nails. So they all, they both took their time. They're very nice people. But I was just saying, now, when you go to the register, watch before you just, you know, like just swipe your card or put your card in and with no receipt, you know? Because Kid good for that. He just, you know, swipe. I'm like, did you look at the bill? Look at the bill. Now, I don't want to sit here and study the bill. Well, I do. Because I want to make sure if it's buy one, get one free, that I got to buy one, get one free. And if it's, you know, 50% off or it's, if it's happy hour, I want to make sure. Because some of the times, like when we went to several places over here at the town center, they'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't put your, you know, happy hour on there. I didn't put your buy one, get one. I'm like, see, you, would you not look, you got to look at the bill. Look at your receipt. You know what I'm saying? Look at your, do y'all check y'all receipt? Because sometimes they'll already put it in the gratuity and you be like, oh, did you? Oh, yes, yeah, I already added in automatically. And, you know, I don't mind giving more, but I just want to know that it's put on there. You know, that's why I check my receipt. But anyway, that was my little rant and I apologize. I just had to, I just had to see. And, and let me know how much y'all pay for y'all pedicure and y'all manicure, not manicures, but, you know, like a full set with the gel. Because it does last me a long time. Y'all saw how long they had grew out. I wasn't even embarrassed that I, I took them other ones off because it was lifting. But um, I didn't even know my nail was split underneath. Maybe that's why it was hurting so bad. But yeah, so y'all let me know how much y'all pay. This is just a little rant. I'm going to stick it into the video. But I'm going to run over here to Cantina Laredo and get me a little, um, I don't know why I want some guacamole so bad. Guacamole and salsa. Maybe I get like a little uh, vegan bowl or something. All right, love y'all. All right, y'all. So I came to close out the uh, the vlog. I'm sitting on the floor because the light is going down and it's usually, y'all, as y'all can see, it's real dark in here. I could turn the light on, but I'm just sitting right here in front of the um the thing. So anyway, listen. Uh, sorry about my little rent, but I, but them six dollars had worried me. <laughs> I was I was 38 hot. You hear me? About them six dollars. I had to tell Alicia the story. I called Kid, and you know him. He was like. So you've never been charged a service fee or you've never been charged. I said, but, but I, he didn't tell me that it was going to be put on there. He just put it on there and didn't say anything. He was like, yeah, they do it all the time. I'm like, well, I didn't, I don't know. I didn't experience it like that. But anyway, so that was my little rant. So I apologize. I never want to get on here. <laughs> but that was, that was a day in the life. That was my reality. So anyway, I just wanted to come and close out the vlog. Um, let y'all know what was coming up. So I have a fitness challenge. And, but I'll talk about it on the next video because this video is too long. Y'all know I try to keep it <laughs> not too long. But I got a fitness challenge to see if some of y'all want to get in this little fitness challenge with me for March. Y'all know March is coming up. So baby, I fumbled February. I'm just going to be real honest with you. I fumbled February so bad. You hear me? I mean just fumble okay but march is a new month we're starting over not starting over but you know starting anew so um i got a fitness challenge to see if y'all want to be about it so um uh, it's gonna be a little bet too you know we're gonna bet either a prize like a giveaway or you know a cash app or whatever the case may be but um it's gonna push me it's gonna push you you know what i'm saying it's gonna make us level up a little bit so uh but i will explain it on the next video i may just shoot it tonight you know what i'm saying and uh what else i had to tell y'all oh i told y'all that i went by prime mart so i'm gonna show you what i got y'all know i had to get me a little disney bag or whatever and i know you can be like kc when are you gonna use it? i'm going to disney okay i'm gonna use every single thing i bought all right so i'm going to disney sometime in the um in the spring so i'm excited about that but um so much i feel like i gotta tell you but <laughs> all right so first of all let me just show you what i got i bought a child i bought a suitcase when, when i came in the house kid told me where's it where, where'd that come from don't worry about it oh i left the little one um i'll show you that in a minute but anyways let me show you my new disney bag kiana tried to take it i might give it to her so this is the new one kiana wants it so i don't know i mean i, I don't think i'm gonna give it to her though and 
Here's a uh, the little three piece. Ooh, hopefully you can see it. Uh, this is a little three piece I bought to go with it. You can do anything you want with it. You know, you can put stuff in it or not. It doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want to do with it. But yeah, it's a little three piece. I think that's kid going out the door. Um, I should have turned the camera this way, but it don't matter. Disney carrying bag also. So I could put my like my camera, my Wally, all that kind of stuff in here. But it's cute and it matches. <laughs> Everything matches, but it's so cute. Yes. Okay. Now on top of that, now I know y'all gonna be like, girl, you done lost your mind. I have. They actually match. Hold on. Let it focus, y'all know my camera. They match the little bag. They are so cute. But yeah, so that's the stuff I got. Alicia don't, didn't know I went by there, but that was the stuff I got. Oh, and then I got a pair of these. You know what I'm saying? This is stuff that you wear at the Disney parks. These are a little heavy though. These are heavy. But these are really light and comfortable. I tried them on. I tried them on, y'all. Because I know you're going to be like, did you try on the shoes? Yes, I tried them on. And I bought this suitcase. Okay, y'all. So that's my little suitcase I bought. I thought it was cute. It just looks different. No, it's not what we're talking about. Oh, well. <laughs> Girl, I, girl, I hear y'all, man, because I say something because it's pricey. It's pri If it's pricey, it's just pricey. Dumbest term. How is that dumb? How is that dumb, babe? It's pricey. No, it's expensive. Okay, it's what's the difference? Who you are. The, what's the difference, y'all, between pricey and expensive? Pricey is a dumb word. <laughs> How is pricey a dumb word? It's very pricey. Oh my God. Get my nails in my feet, though, it was pricey. So yeah, but y'all be talking about, ooh, I want a relationship. I want to be in love. I want, girl. Girl. Fellas. Girl, let me show you Fellas. the raw and the real. Talking about you want to be in love. So I'm, that's why I'm going to show you the good, bad, and the ugly. Right. Good, bad, and ugly. T be with somebody for about 27 years. That's what you're gonna this is what you're gonna run into. 27 years coming up in a couple months. 27 together and 25 married. So don't let the Instagram and to YouTube pictures and videos fool yo. We be arguing about words. Expensive and pricey. <laughs> Y'all ignore Price him. Pricey is a dumb word. Pricey is not a dumb word. Anyways, I love y'all. I will see y'all on the next video. Bye, y'all.